welcome to Australia. Welcome to Australia. Hello everybody, this is me and welcome to Australia. I honestly can't believe that I'm here in Adelaide because I am so excited for the Adelaide three day event. So I'm going to be watching the dressage, the cross country and the show jumping. And eventing is just so difficult because you have to be sort of the master of three different disciplines. So that's going to be so epic to watch. I'm actually currently in the center of Adelaide, so I'm in a city. And apparently the event is just round the corner, but I honestly can't see any horses. So let's go and find it. Oh, wow. Pride's Easy Feed Dressage Day. So today I'm going to be watching some of the dressage, also doing a little bit of shopping, a bit of browsing, and then I also have my meet up at 12 o'clock, so let's go for a look around. Oh my gosh guys, look what I found. It's got like little pom-poms and everything on. What do you think Cass would look like in this for Christmas? I don't know, I don't think he'd be the greatest fan of it. <laughs> Okay. Hi Eloise and Sienna, look what I found. Hi! Uh, thank you so much for watching my videos, Eloise and Sienna. Um, see you around. <laughs> oh my gosh, they have them in navy. I feel like the really nice thing about coming to horse shows is that I do a lot of online shopping, just like browsing, looking at things. But it's actually nice to see things in person. So I've never seen these stirrups in person in the navy. So it's really cool to see like what the actual color looks like. So yeah, it's nice doing a little bit of shopping. <laughs> Something also that's really good about shopping at these shows is they have a lot of stuff that you can't find anymore online. So they have some discontinued like colours and things. So for example, in the ear bonnets, we have the uh, turquoise here. We also have the lime green that you can no longer get. So yeah, it's pretty cool. from Cowgirls with Wings. So Dana, I just saw your performance and oh my goodness, it was absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like that before. So how did you get into trick riding? Um, thank you so much to start. <laughs> and I got into trick riding three years ago now. Um, so I was previously, I did gymnastics when I was younger. Oh wow. And I firstly got into horses 
and then I've been doing that for five years and then I saw the movie Cowgirls and Angels and I just saw that movie and I just loved it and went oh my god that is just amazing what they're doing on a horse yeah I want to do it so I went out and searched around and found someone in Queensland Australia and got taught and so I've been doing it for three years now <laughs> oh wow so also all of this tack looks absolutely amazing yes. I'm loving the outfits so talk to me a little bit more about this saddle because this looks so foreign to me yes. I've never seen anything like this before it's a very complicated saddle it's a western style of saddle so pretty much it's a very strong saddle everything's reinforced and it needs to be pure genuine strong leather so yes. that it holds everything <laughs> and uh, a lot of the time my cinch is up very tight the saddles don't move because yes. I'm literally hanging up upside down and the saddle <laughs> needs to stay in one place at all times yes I can imagine. there's many different straps and loops as you can see that's the hippodrome strap so that's oh, wow. how I stand up Oh, nice. And there's other little loops that connect to the saddle and the cinches. Oh wow. <laughs> and there's back handles there. And we have uh, this horn here, which is what we hold on to, to uh, drag and that sort of thing. So that's pretty much our main safety thing right there. <laughs> oh wow. So if anything ever goes wrong, you grab this yep. side of the saddle with that horn and you're safe. <laughs> nice. So tell me a little bit more about the horses that you've got here today. Yeah. Uh, this one is Honey. She is my main girl. She's been doing it for over a year. Oh. And she's eight years old, a purebred quarter horse. And she's just amazing. She. She runs her heart out every time. She's the fastest horse I've got and she could run all day long if she wanted to. <laughs> she loves her job just as much as I do. Hey. <laughs> and then you've also got your goose here as well. Yes. Does she come to all of the events? <laughs> yes, she does. Her name is Popcorn and she's Aww. a Roman goose and she comes to all of the events and I love to share the experience of not many people get to see and pat a goose yeah. in their life because you know they're scary then most of the time you know they're attack animals they're fight animals and yeah. being able to share that with people a friendly yeah, pack goose and just yeah, amazing. Yeah she's so lovely so thank you so much for your time Dana where can we find you? Um, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, I also have a website uh, Cowgirls with Wings Tick Riding and pretty much any other social media sites. <laughs> so thank I'm you there. so much. Thank you. <laughs> Today is Saturday and Qantas Cross Country Day. I've had a little walk around the course seeing some of the fences and they have some really cool ones. They have one the shape of a dragonfly and I think they have a panda fence as well. So I'm very excited to watch that later. Also, the backdrop here, like it, the scenery is just so beautiful. It's so different to any of the events I've ever been to. It's very Australian as well. And I've got lots of other things planned today. I'm gonna to meet some fellow equestrian YouTubers, but um, Aussie ones as I'm in Australia. And also I'm going to be meeting some young bloggers, um, talking to them about interviewing and things. And then also I have my meetup later as well. So let's go. Open your eyes, what can you see around? Wind of the open sky Over the siren sound This is a dream, getting the royal scar Holding a diamond blade Throwing it far Holding your breath still You jump the fire
So I'm here with somebody that a lot of you probably know already, Hannah Questrian. Hi guys! Um, so we just bumped into each other shopping again. So again. Yes, <laughs> again, shopping again. May have bought another saddle pad or two. Yes. <laughs> so the other day we actually um, filmed a video at the Horseland stand. We did sort of like an equestrian shopping challenge. So that video should probably be up already. So if you haven't checked it out, I'll leave a little link in the description and a little top icon as well. So we had so much fun doing that. It was really I feel like the outfits we both chose are really good as well. I agree. Yeah. I really like my outfit. <laughs> oh, thank you. I love my outfit as well. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <laughs> so, should we do a little bit more shopping then? I think so. Yes. We need another saddle pad. <laughs> yes. <I> Always. <laughs> Every horse show I go to, I usually have a little look around either the horse boxes or the trailers, but this behind me is neither. This is an Australian float, so let's go have a look around. Oh, wow. So I've just um, stepped inside a Campbell float and something I wasn't really expecting is that there's living in here. So we've got a little dinner table, a bunk bed, microwave. It's pretty cool. So this is where the horses go, it can fit two large horses and something really cool about this, it feels very Australian, very different to what I'm used to. There's some really nice big airy windows and then we also have like a little rug rack up here as well so it's really cool how you can fit so much into such a small space. Also here we have a swing out tack box so you can put all your tack in, so if I open up this, do -do -do. swings all the way out. And then, if I open up here, you can put your saddles in. So I'm here at Adelaide filming for them, but also meeting some of my viewers down under here in Australia. So I've been having such a great time. It's been beautiful weather as well, and it's just been a really great weekend seeing some incredible sports. Hi, my name's Olivia. And I'm Annalise Phillips, and we're the 2019 recipients for the Junior Vloggers of the Australian International Three Day Event. How's Adelaide going so far? It's going really well, thank you. I've just got over the jet lag from coming all the way from England. Um, so I'm feeling a lot better today, but also it's so beautiful here. I love all the like purple blossom trees as well. And I'm looking really forward for the cross country later this week. So horse riding obviously opened a new aspect in your life. Um, what was that like to just have a new part of yourself in your everyday? So I'm actually really lucky that I started having riding lessons at quite a young age, I was five, so it feels like horses have been in my life for quite a long time now. Um, but also we're really lucky that we keep both of our horses on our land, so um, every morning I wake up and I go and do them, muck them out, feed them, and it's just really nice to have something to look forward to every morning. <laughs> Thank you very much um, to both of you again for the little interview. I've had uh, so much fun and I hope you really enjoy the rest of the Adelaide free day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the Qantas Cross Country Day yesterday was just absolutely fantastic to watch. The fences, the horses, the riders, and also the beautiful parkland here as well. It was just absolutely stunning. So today is now Sunday and it's the day of the Mitsubishi show jumping. And there's actually the show jumping in the three star, four star and five star to watch. So that'll be really great to see. And also like everybody is gonna be really tense because everybody's gonna be battling to try and do the best they possibly can. So today I also have a really busy day because I have a meetup this morning and obviously filming the show jumping later. So before it gets really busy, I think this morning I'm going to have a little chance to do a little bit of shopping because I haven't really been able to do that yet and it's going to be nice to see some of the Australian brands that you don't really get in the UK as well. I've just been doing a bit of shopping and I've bumped into Hannah from HLH Equestrian. So Hannah, I feel like I've started watching your YouTube videos back before I even started my channel. So it's been really lovely to see you here in Australia. Yeah, it's been amazing and like it's it's just so crazy seeing someone yes. in person that you've seen online it's like for so real. long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're a real person. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so you've got your stand here as well. Tell me yes. a bit more about that because it's so busy here as well today. Yeah. So today's actually the busiest day, which I I thought cross country day would be. But, yeah. But here we here are. Show jumping. But yeah. No. I kind of started this from YouTube, and nice. it's just kind of. You know, kept going and now I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I need to fit in YouTube. But yeah. like, that's it's just right. difficult to like Where manage everything. Is. Yes. <laughs> my heart is still like, oh, that is just, I was doing it since I was 11. Oh wow. So like, it's literally over half my life. Oh no. Nice. So it's, it's a bit scary. Yeah, it's like, yeah I, feel like, I feel like 
yeah, when you start it and then it just carries on, it's like, wow, when you look back, you're like, I've been doing this for a while now, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so tell me a little bit more about your clothing or designs, it's absolutely yes. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I kind of just started doing things that I wanted to see personally, but like no one seemed to be doing. So like I started with like things like this, so like kind of just a small logo and just like quirky little things that so you don't cute. see. <laughs> and so I, like I sent you that one, like, yeah. back, I don't know, like a year or so ago. Yeah. And yeah, no, from there I was like, well, I like base layers, I'll start making base layers and then leggings and I was like oh my god why do people still ride in bridges literally <laughs> leggings, leggings are amazing are so comfy yeah. yeah and then like lightweight jackets and sweaters and now I'm like oh I could do competition wear literally. so that's my next <laughs> yeah. my next thing oh well best of luck with that yeah <laughs> for Mitsubishi show jumping day we have a lot of show jumping not just for the three star four star and five star we actually also have the atco world cup qualifiers here today as well so some of the riders here will be trying collecting points trying to qualify for the 2020 tokyo olympics here we have one very full up 160 oxa and there's a water tray underneath let's see how it goes <laughs> So that's the wrap for this year's Mitsubishi Australian three-day event 2019 here in Adelaide. I'd like to say a huge congratulations to Hazel Shannon who won, but also she's won for the third time on the same horse as well, which is just incredible. It's very rare that something like that happens. I have had an absolutely amazing time here in Adelaide. It's such a beautiful city, so if you ever have the chance to come here, you really do have to. Before today's video ends, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to all of you guys who've came to my meetups. You were all so lovely, and I just had such great to fun meeting you all. Also, before today's video ends, I'd just like to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to the Australian Theory Day event for inviting me here and making it possible for me to be here because the last few days have just been incredible. So also thank you to you guys for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please subscribe and like today's video as it really does help me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.